hi guys welcome back to my channel so I just want to go over this look that I did and tell you the products that I used I did do the tutorial but I don't know if I'm gonna upload it or not because I am horrible at tutorials and they are so difficult to do from everything that you can do I feel like on YouTube tutorials are the most difficult ones but at least I'll share what I did and my thoughts and recommendations. So let's start with the foundation that I use. So this one, I just tried it first time. This one is from Misha, uh, Perfect Cover BB Cream. It's 42 SPF and it, this one is number 27. I have their cushion foundation, number 23, which is a little bit too light for me. I love this. I love them both. This one is amazing. I really like the coverage. It's light to medium buildable it's not it looks dewy at the beginning but i never so in terms of powders i never set my skin down with powders all over my face first of all because i am more on the drier side and if i do i will do it absolutely towards the end kind of the last step i let the products do their thing settle down to what they're supposed to be with my skin and only then i evaluate do i need the powder and if where and how much so I never over powder and it doesn't get cakey and make it be so I really like this one it really it looks like skin it's very comfortable it's not tight I really do like it a lot I would definitely recommend that another thing with a uh, sunscreen it's really good right now I live in Arizona it's 102 degrees already I know <laughs> like August is gonna be 140 probably <laughs> welcome to hell <laughs> Yay. All right, so continuing. So in terms of the rest of my skin, I did use the Milk for my bronzer. I love this product. So I do love cream products a lot. I find them to be very easy to work with because you can blend them out, shear them out. Uh, I know some people are afraid of it. I don't know why, but if you are and you wanna try, I would recommend this one highly. It is very easy to blend it out into nothing. Okay, which is a good thing for some people would be a bad thing. I like things that you can really manipulate and do whatever you want. So there's so many options on how you can use this and I appreciate it on product. Okay, so I do like that in terms of blush. So I did a few steps. I did this one. This one is from ColourPop. Uh, the color is Aloha. I love a lot of like corally and peachy colors for the summer. And this one definitely is like that. So if I kind of put it on my hand this is the shade okay same thing it's very um very forgiving very easy to go heavy-handed and blend it out almost like into nothing so you can build it to a more uh, vibrant color or it can give you just a little bit of that flush so wonderful product highly recommend and then on top of one with clinique this one is melon pop i love these colors they just make your skin look very glowy and fresh and youthful I love, love, love these colors. I have another similar one from Milani. This is Coral Cove. I know it looks like, oh my God, this is very vibrant. It is a vibrant color. Same thing, you, you can go with a light hand and just, it, it looks beautiful. So don't be only about the nudes. I mean, I'm all about the nudes, but these colors are gorgeous on the skin. All right, in terms of highlight, uh, again with the milk, I have the little one. Which color is this one? I'm not sure. Just a little highlight and then on top of that I went with Laura Geller this is just champagne pink again with highlights I don't like the very pigmented ones but I do like the pink ones so on certain you know in a different angle you can kind of see a little bit more of like a pink tone but not really but that's what I like all right and again it, everything just blends really nicely into the skin and nothing is really harsh and I that's the look that I prefer eyebrows so a few things and I would recommend them but carefully <laughs> so to say so this one is from wet n wild this one is what color is this ash brown I love starting with something more wide just to give the general shape and fill up the brows just to kind of see where you're going with it so if you don't have a lot of eyebrows like I do because I lost a lot of them they thinned out after uh, with pregnancy and birth and everything so I do like this, but it is very um, kind of clay-like. So you want to know what you're doing because going back and forth with this one, it will kind of create little product 
islands and patches and it will kind of get a little crazy and it but on the other hand because it's a bit of a clay it holds the, um, the eyebrows as well so I do like this one a lot and then I go back with something more precise um, really doesn't matter which one you go this is the one I just used same thing just to give a more concrete shape and kind of fill in the little gaps but you want to go kind of quick before this one sets and then for the finish just to kind of give it another shape this one is from Jordana what color is this one feather I guess I know brunette so again I really like it it does hold your eyebrows in shape in the same location it's like three five dollars in Walgreens so this is I love how small the little brush is so these three I'm happy okay on my lips I have this one it's also from Jordana I really like this lip pencil it's first of all you can kind of you know it's one of these and what color is this one by the way rose crush so to me it gives a little bit more like a coral undertone and I love it it's pigmented it's creamy you can just use this all over your lips and call it a day in my opinion but I went on top of this with this one is from um, lipstick queen I love their lipsticks they're so comfortable and creamy and pigmented I love 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 uh, this one is set in pink same thing it is a pink but it does give me more of that coral kind of vibe a little bit peachy I don't know there's a little bit more to it than just pink so that's all I have on the lips. Eyes. The eyeliner, the e.l.f. $3, one of my favorite ones. Very pigmented, very black, very easy to use. And the tip is so tiny. Look how small this tip. So you can be so precise. Look at this color. Okay, that wasn't precise, but okay. We have options. We can go a little crazy. We can go a bit more precise. But it's really nice. I do like it because I don't do wing liners. I don't go thick lines. I do like just a little bit just to kind of give that contrast for the eyeshadow to let the colors pop a little bit better. So it works for me beautifully in terms of mascara, voluminous false fiber lashes. It's good. Nothing against it. I do love the, um, the brush itself, the applicator. I do love this kind of shape. So again, nothing incredible, but not bad at all so that's that and for the eyeshadow <laughs> the star of the show so i wanted to go um matte today where is the palette where did i put it by the way oh there it is okay so i would really recommend this like i would so this is just peaches matte from Too faced and quite often you can find it on a sale okay so this is how it looks it's gorgeous i do love mattes a lot and all of these colors are beautiful so you have these peachy ones and but then you also have a lot of very like nice and neutrals like all of this line is neutral warm and then there's chocolate dip here on the corner which is completely neutral brown so you can create a lot of looks with this palette i love this one so the ones that I was using today, I'll kind of use a little brush. I was using the Just Peachy, Peachy Punch, uh, Peaches and Cream. So I started with this in the corner, and then I moved to Just Peachy, and Peachy Punch on the on the kind of side, just on that was on the lid, and then the Peachy Sangria in the very corner, and then the blending shade with Peach Tea, and then towards the eyebrow I went with Peach Butter. A lot of peach right and then the just peachy and peachy punch kind of on the corner on the bottom eyelash just a little bit not a lot and that's kind of the look I really like it and for the little inner corner this is from Holika Holika I got this in um, Ulta I think it was also like on sale or something but I love everything Korean Korean skincare Korean makeup I Korean Asian like I love it they just have a different look and twist on products and everything is just beautiful and they use a lot of corals and peaches so by the way which I love so this one is I don't think oh, it's a number 05 it's in a pot now I used it on the with a brush so you have to build it up it does have some glitter but it also has pigmentation on top of it so it's a gorgeous it gives like peachy and pink and golds and it's just 
beautiful. You can build it up. It can be a topper. So this is like a topper and it's beautiful. I would highly recommend this one. It's really interesting product. Like you, you think you saw all the kind of pots and everything, but no, they're all different. And this one is just gorgeous. I love this one. It's like, look at it. <laughs> Get it. I would highly recommend it. But I do like everything Korean. So to set my skin, by the way, I love this one. This is from Pixie, Hydrating Milky Mist. So I start with this and then I go with a hydrating primer. Um, today I just use this one from Milani, Rose Primer, the hydrating one. I like this a lot. This one and, from, and the one from e.l.f. They're my go-tos right now. And then also just to set everything, same thing. It smells amazing. And by the way, this one from Misha, it smells like baby skincare, you know, like that, I don't know, like really fresh and sweet, like a baby. I love that smell. So yay. But it's not like too intense and it doesn't linger. It kind of goes away. So I don't like those kind of products that you can kind of oh, smell it all day long. So and that's it. So that's the look. Don't ask me about the hair. It's a mane. I know. We're teaching my baby right now animals, so I feel like today I can definitely give uh, the lion a go. <laughs> How does a lion go? Mama? <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. It's okay. I like some crazy hair. But, ah, uh, you see? Let's work it a little bit more. Let's see what we can do. How, ba how bad can this get? I know, at some point my hair almost turns into like Rasta hair. Which I'm down with. It's a look, you know. Yeah, it goes crazy. Either way, so that's the look. I hope you like it. I do. Alright, that's it. Till next time. Have a good day.